some folks don't like to admit it, but I'll be the first to step up and say, yes, I'm sort of a chocoholic. I like it dark, light, filled, and mixed with other tasty stuff. And luckily for people like you and me, there's a place like Apple Tree Chocolate. The decision to treat yourself or someone you know to chocolate is an easy one. The tough decisions come inside Apple Tree Chocolate. Do I want fudge, truffles, homemade bark, or something on a stick? Part of that decision is made easier by Apple Tree owners Scott and Ashley Jackson. If the secret ingredient to good food really is love, then you're in the right place. These two met, fell in love, graduated, got married, and now run a business right outside the university they love. They started their secret caramel recipe in their little apartment just down the street. We had a little electric stove. We you know, went and bought a cast iron pot. We call it Old Blue. We still use it here for uh, making marshmallows and stuff. So the apples are really where we make a name for ourselves. I mean, if the place is called Apple Tree Chocolate, you kind of have to sell caramel apples. <laughs> yeah, uh, so we have a couple dozen different varieties of those. Our most popular is probably our apple pie, which is a secret recipe, and it's a car caramel apple with white chocolate and our apple pie mix. We also have some other staples like cookies and cream, white chocolate with crushed up Oreos, and we do some fun stuff. We do a lot of pecans. We probably go through about 10 or 15 pounds of pecans a week. But don't just take his word. I also ran into a loyal customer buying sweets for his sweet. Oh man, the cake balls is good, the chocolate covered Twinkies, and the apples. Oh my goodness, the apples. Yes, gotta have the apples. Which apples do you do? Oh, I do the uh, pecan and caramel. Ah, gotta have it. We turn the heat off, and we're gonna add what we call the finale to it. And you know, we got some things in there like vanilla, which uh, a lot of times contain a little bit of alcohol to them. So we like to call this the angel share, because uh, once he gets it stirred in there, it's gonna bubble and it's gonna evaporate all the uh, alcohol out of it. This stuff's hot, uh, so you gotta, you gotta be careful, but you also have to be uh, confident enough to really get your hands pretty close to it. Scotty and Ashley have a passion for all things sweet. Scotty says dishing out tasty treats is something that never gets old. People are just really, really excited when they come in, or they may have had a rough day, and they're like, I'm here for some chocolate so I can feel better. And, and we, we help uh, provide them the feel goods. <laughs> in Norman, discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown.